So next we'll take a look at rotation, but first I'd like to just put these trees behind the hill. You might notice that the bottom of the tree trunks just stands in front of the hill in there. So in this case, we can just hover our selection tool just to the side of those trees, click and hold down the mouse and drag across all three of them to select them. Of course, the, of course the sky is still locked in there, so we don't select that. And then you can hover over one of the selected items and right click. From that right click menu, you'll see that arrange is one of those options. In our case, we'll choose send to back and that'll put it behind the hill and I can click away to deselect. So in terms of rotation, I'm going to left click on this first tree here on the left hand side. And then in the properties panel in the transform section, we have a rotation field. If I click on the drop down menu, you'll see that we have a set of preset angles in there, which are increments of 30 degrees. So if you hover over one of them and left click, for example, 30, that rotates in a counterclockwise direction. So if you want to reset that, you can take it back to zero. And if you wish to rotate in a clockwise fashion, oddly enough, we have to put a minus value in first and then a numerical value. So in this case, I'll just type in say eight and press return. So as odd as it seems to rotate clockwise, you have to put in a minus value. Um, doesn't make sense to me, but that's the way it works. You can, of course, fine tune the position of that. So I would tend to suggest that you will probably manually rotate on a regular basis because it's far simpler and it is quicker. The way you do that is hover again over the corner point of your selected bounding box and then just hover slightly to the outside and that will then reveal the rotate symbol. Click and hold down the mouse, drag to the left hand side to rotate counterclockwise or drag to the right hand side to rotate clockwise. If you need to rotate in a high value, you can just click and drag and you can keep dragging towards the right hand side, but you may find it easier to click and drag in a clockwise fashion with the mouse or a counterclockwise fashion with the mouse. If you've got a really large rotation to apply to an object, when you let go of the mouse, that will finish the rotation. You can then move on to the next tree, hover just outside of the bounding box. And really what I want to do with these is just to lean them uh, the way that the hill is tapering at the side in here. So just to lean them out to the sides ever so slightly like so. So that's how you can rotate from the numerical fields from the presets and manually as well.